everyone, this is Vilas from Selenium Express and today in this tutorial, I'm going to give you an overview of the project that we are going to create. So, we're going to create a simple cross label web application by following the model view controller architecture. So, this particular application will give you a good fundamental on MVC, I mean, how the MVC flow works and also make you comfortable to work with MVC design pattern. So let's go ahead and let's understand the project architecture and also let's understand what project that we're going to build over here in this course. So let's go for it. All right guys, so now let me walk you through the web application that we are going to build, okay? So first of all, let me put the URL over here. So just to confirm, A086 is my port number and FootCat is going to be the application that we are going to build over here. Okay, now let me hit enter and here I come to my home page. Okay, so there is a nice uh, welcome text over here. Welcome to FootCat and this FootCat, as I said, is going to be my application and I got a link here, go to menu. So if I click this a link over here, it is going to redirect to me a different page as you all know so right now I'm in the menu page and uh, it's just displaying all the food items which is available with this app like biryani pizza chili paneer chicken lollipop and all and I'm getting the price of it just right next to it like biryani 100 rupees pizza 250 rupees and etc right so this is a nice little uh, view that we're getting over here and this is my front end so now let me walk you through the back end of it. So as you know, these items that we're getting over here, one biryani, 100, two pizza, 250, all this uh, code item and price that we're getting over here, we are getting it from our database. So let me walk you through that and now let's go to our database. All right, so now let's have a look on the database and let's check it out that what we have in our database, all right? So if you see over here, I'm in my MySQL workbench. So I'm going to use MySQL database over here. But if you are using something else like SQL Server or Oracle, that won't be a problem, right? So now let me log in and here we go. So first of all, I want to drag your attention to this database, I mean this schema over here. So I have already created a schema called food here. And inside this food schema, I have a table called food cat. So if I do a select star from, then I'll get all this data over here, what we are seeing over here, right? All this data, biryani, pizza, chili, paneer, and all, all this data is coming from this particular table, all right? So I do have everything over here. So uh, this is going to be my backend, and for my backend, I'm going to use MySQL database, all right? All right, so that's it for now. Now let's check out the architecture that we are going to follow to build this particular project. All right, guys, so now let's walk through the project architecture. So first of all, we have a web browser, let's say Chrome browser, and whenever we are hitting our URL, I mean, whenever we are typing our URL and press enter, that means a request comes in. First, the request comes to the controller, and your controller will basically serve it. And in my application, which is FootCat, for that, I'm going to name my controller as FootCat, okay? So our servlet name will be FootCat for our application, okay? So don't be confused with this. So this is actually the name of my servlet, all right? Okay, so now this controller is going to talk to the database, I mean the model, and this model is going to give back the data to the controller. So for any additional data, the controller is going to contact to the model and the model will give the required data which is needed by this controller, all right? And over here, to talk to this model, I'm going to create a helper class, and my class name will be FoodCatDBUtil, all right? We are going to see how this class works in the later part of our application, okay? So once the controller receives the data from the model, it is going to process this data to a view or to a JSP page, okay? So uh, for my view, I'm going to use a JSP page and I'm going to name that page as showfood.jsp, all right? And this is actually the final page that I'm going to send it to my web browser because this is the page that my user is going to see, all right? 
So this is actually the big picture of my application. So we are going to follow this architecture pretty much whenever we get started with our project development, all right? All right, so this is our development checklist, okay? So this is a kind of to-do list that I have created to make things simple, all right? So first of all, we are going to create our controller servlet. And in this case, my controller servlet name will be foodcat.java. And then I'm gonna create my view page. And in this case, my view page name will be showfood.jsp. And then I'm gonna create my helper class to talk to my model and my helper class name will be foodcat db util right and then i'm going to pull all these things together and i'm going to see how actually the mbc works in real time all right so this is it from this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll start coding and we're going to create our controller for our mbc app so if you have any query any question then post it in the comment section or you can write a mail to me at seleniumexpress at gmail.com and I'll get back to you. And don't forget to like my Facebook page. We'll get the link down below and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, take care and recording.